Out here, we are primarily studying methane bubbles emerging from the seafloor. We're interested in their fate as they rise through the water column. So what is their composition as they come out of the seafloor? What is their composition mid-water column? Um, do, does that methane come to the surface? To study that, we're deploying a bunch of different sensors to investigate that. So on the ROV, we've got a laser spectrometer and a mass spectrometer going in measuring methane bubbles in situ. Uh, we've got a uh, jet yak with us that's going to go and map above the plume, that map the surface waters. The Chemiac is pushing the bounds of taking hobby technology or off-the-shelf technology, adding good, high-quality you know, science sensors to it, and saying, what can we do with this, and answering questions. So it's a good rough and tumble way of getting instruments out there in the ocean, so we're actually doing science. Chemiac gives us the ability to see if some of the bubbles from all these seeps we're discovering, and if those bu bubbles are containing greenhouse gases, and if those gases are making it to the surface. We can survey around and cover a lot of ground and continuously measure for greenhouse gases, find hot spots, and see if it's escaping to the atmosphere. And is this going to change the overall like methane budget for the area? Uh, and so JetYX hopefully capturing like just right at the surface where it's about to come up and disperse into the air column, you know, how much is actually there? How much is actually reaching that level of the water column? By using this hobby technology and by taking these off-the-shelf things, we're doing two things. One is speed, so we can get replacement parts you know, next day, and it's uh, dropping the cost, which makes it really nice. So we can focus on getting really high quality sensors rather than uh, trying to balance the sensors and the frame and everything else that goes into it. So while we're out here, I'm looking to test uh, two sort of very rapidly prototyped instruments uh, that I've brought to measure dissolved gases. So one of the sort of barriers to, to studying things is these instruments can be really expensive. But if we can use sensors that have been made inexpensive by other industries, we can use that to our, our benefit and build something based off of that. Yeah, so these sort of inexpensive sensors would be really useful for smaller government agencies or private entities uh, that are looking to measure these sorts of parameters in the environment, but just don't have the budget to cover the cost of these expensive sensors. So if we can make them less expensive, then maybe they can cover it with their budgets and they can still get the data that they need.